Hello, my name is Kerry Klager in conjunction with my business partner Jim Williamson. We created a company called Custom and Marine Solutions. Um, today I'm here to tell you about Tough Gel. Uh, one of the main applications that Tough Gel was originally designed was the um, helping in preventing or eliminating dissimilar metal corrosion or galvanic corrosion between dissimilar metals. Um, today we're going to talk about the classic example of dissimilar metals and that would be stainless steel um, directly connected to aluminum where they can make, uh, they can make direct contact with each other. I'm going to start this off by, by showing just a little piece here. Um, this piece is, is called data couple and what data couple actually is, is is it is aluminum on the top and stainless steel on the bottom. It is, it is fused together through basically an explosive process. And, and the reason I bring this piece and I want to talk about it for a brief minute because technically when you think about it, um, this works, but when you think about it, the, how far these two products are off on a dissimilar metal scale, um, it shouldn't. The reason it does work is because the fusion putting the two together does not allow oxygen or humidity, water, um, moisture of any sort to, to penetrate between the two metals. When, it, when those two um, properties being water and, and oxygen cannot penetrate in between the two, galvanic corrosion cannot happen. So that being said, um, it's going to play into our role when we talk about putting these two pieces together. Right here we just have the, the real small tube of tough gel. It's, it's a quarter ounce. Um, it's really made for like a one-time use. Um, if you're in the manufacturing and selling products, you can send it out for, for assembly purposes. Or if you're just a consumer and you just use, want to use a little bit of it, um, it's a fantastic little piece. It's, it's fairly inexpensive. Um, in those packages actually comes a little tiny brush. It might be kind of hard to see on the video, but at the end of the brush, it, it's almost like an eyelash brush. Um, it, it's a very important part. I've seen a lot of people um, take this brush and throw it in the garbage, but it's absolutely the wrong thing to, to, to do with the, with the brush. What you really should start out by doing is taking some tough gel, put it on the brush, liber li liberally coat it, get it around there nice and good. Take the aluminum part that you're going to be having, that you're going to be threading your bolts into, and you actually want to take this and actually put it into each one of the holes. You want to be, you want to liberally coat it. And then what you do, you'll take each one of your bolts and you'll, you'll put a, a coating on the threads. Then you take your stainless steel piece. You can see there's a raised area of the stainless steel. What I'm going to do is put, put a, a coat, a nice bead, all the way around. All the raised areas on the bottom. The reason I'm telling you that they have to put the, the coat on the bottom, when you put this together, just like the data couple, you want to make sure that, that the tough gel is, is being put into both the threads and with all points of contact. What this does is it, it eliminates the possibilities of water and oxygen getting to where the, the two metals are making contact, the most important part of, of assembling tough gel. If you just put the, the, the tough gel on the, on the screw threads, you know, you could be leaving voids and gaps in the threads and, and that would allow areas for moisture and, and oxygen to, to penetrate and cause the, the dissimilar metal corrosion.
I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but you'll see all the way around, the top and bottom and around all the, the screws. You'll actually be able to see where the, where the tough gel is actually oozed out. That's exactly what you want. You need to simply take a paper towel and mineral spirits. Mineral spirits is one of the few uh, solvents that will actually cut the, the, the tough gel and it cleans up very nicely with the, with the mineral spirits. If you have any questions regarding the, any applications of tough gel, um, please go to the Contact us, us page on our website at corrosionandmarine.com and we'd be happy to help you with, with any of, the, any of the, the, the thoughts or the questions you may have. Thank you very much.